with Wilkesboro especially getting hit with some heavy downpours in the western parts of the county. And you can see North Wilkesboro here with some showers late afternoon into early evening. So we are going to see some fog. We usually have fog there anyhow at times, and we're going to continue to look at fog off and on with some periods of showers, a little bit of mist possible, and then cooler than average temperatures to lead us into Monday and Tuesday. We're going to be wedged in a little unusual to get you going in June to see a good wedge, but it does look like that's going to keep us pretty cool. We also have a front that is kind of washing out just to our north and west, better energy over West Virginia at this hour. A few light showers have been falling over areas of Sparta, Ennis, and we've seen a few roll out over Surrey County too. So Mount Air, you might have a sprinkle left over. Most of the thunderstorm action though, done for the night. We expect to see mostly showers the next two days. A couple of thunderstorms could get going back into Wednesday, but look at those totals so far, half inch to one inch totals from just storms tonight. And then we're gonna add to those totals some one to two inches this week in temperatures. Well, we're sitting in those mid and upper 60s right now, and that may be our high temperature for tomorrow. We're gonna be reaching for an extra layer. And if you have to wait out at the bus stops the next couple of days, or if you're attending rallies, or possibly some of those protests, you're gonna to wanna to definitely grab an umbrella because we're talking about showers and needing rain gear as we go into the next several days. Each day we have a chance of sh for showers. Even if it's not consistent rain, it's gonna be the kind that could be soaking at times and even thunderstorms by middle of the week. So temperatures today near 80 degrees in Martinsville, Winston-Salem. We made it up to 82, one of our hot spots in Burlington today, and 71 in Galax, 75 in North Wilkesboro for highs. And take a look at this. With their hour by hour forecast, we're expecting most of those scattered showers to try and build through early morning. And out over the triad, you might wake up to some slick spots on the roads. Moderate showers are possible by 5, 6 a.m., but they're still going to be widely scattered. And the question is, will we see some clearing on the western edges as we head into the weekend, or excuse me, the afternoon hours? I'm thinking weekend already, right? Again, I know a lot of folks will be looking forward to some sunshine by then. But right now, we've got to deal with the clouds. And on your Monday and Tuesday afternoons, we may see a little bit of that cloud cover start to thin or lift out for folks in the mountains and western foothills. And so that's what we'll be watching for if we can see that trend. Most folks are really going to be wedged in. We've got those low to mid 60s out there for you tomorrow. And scattered showers could bring in one to two inches. Now take a quick look at this. June so far, we're pretty dry, about 27 hundredths of an inch of rain that we've seen so far. We're down by an inch and a half for what we would typically see so far this time of the year. And for the year, though, we're above normal by more than nine inches. So we're doing OK for the year. We're still well above normal and we're considered the fourth wettest year on record so far. This week, we get a good chance to see more rain. And in the triad tomorrow morning, about 58 degrees, some slick spots out there. You want the rain gear and certainly a little cooler for us too. Mid and upper 60s at some 10 to 12 degrees cooler than where we were today. 52 degrees in the mountains from there to 59 and a few spots. If you get some cloud thinning, you might make it into those low 60s, but I think a lot of folks will be socked in with the clouds too. Often on showers, not every afternoon or not every hour, I should say, but some folks are going to see a little bit more than others. We're also sitting with this upper low that tends to keep us in this more mild trend. And as it gets cut off, it eventually starts to weaken toward the end of the week. And that means shower chances will build back with more sunshine and some 70s and even 80s for you out there. So cooler for you as we go into the next couple of days with this upper low. Good rain chances all across North Carolina, even South Carolina. So the beaches may not be the best time to be heading there, but you got rainfall totals that'll certainly bring in one to two inches. So if you have to water your lawns or maybe you want to avoid mowing, well, you can just say, well, it's still raining. Hopefully we'll be able to get back to some periods of sunshine as we take you into Friday, Saturday and Sunday and those temperatures much hotter. We're gonna be approaching near 90 toward the end of the week. Talk about swinging in both directions. So upper 60s, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we keep in rain chances. Those make it impact days, including Friday for scattered thunderstorms with upper 80s to near 90 by next Sunday.